This list is based off of the biggest problems that I felt like World at War Verrucked has. I will admit that I had to nitpick when it came to finding problems with this map. Now coming in at my number one spot is that the Springfield wall buy is a scam. Now this without a doubt is the weakest gun in all of Call of Duty Zombies. But what makes it a scam is that the Car 98K is the exact same price and it is actually weaker than the Car 98K. Not only that, but there is another gun in the room with the Springfield and it's only 400 more points and it's just a way better option. The Springfield is so weak that it starts two shotting the zombies in the head on round two. And on round one, it two shots the zombies in the main body. The Car 98K starts two shotting the zombies in the head on round four and it starts two shotting the zombies in the body on round two. Yes, they're in different spawn rooms, but in all honesty, you should never ever buy the Springfield. It is that bad. Now coming in at my number four spot is that the zombies take forever to get to the building on the early rounds. Just like Noct, this map has the same issue. It's not so bad if you know the spawns and you just kill them with one of the weapons in the spawn room, but if you're trying to knife them for more points, you have to wait a very long time for them to shamble up to the windows. Then trying to knife them through the windows on World at War is really annoying because sometimes you just can't hit them until they start climbing through the window. The early rounds being slow is a problem because sometimes it can be the deciding factor of whether or not I want to play that map or if I want to try again when I freaking die. Now coming in at my number three spot is that the door for the bar is a scam. Now the reason why this is a scam is because there's another wall buy for the bar on your way to power. And the amount of points you have to spend for the door and the bar is not worth it. Another reason why it is a scam is because the bar is 1800 points on Noct and on Verrucked it is 2500 points. The only difference on Verrucked is that the bar has a bipod, but guess what? You can't even use it, so it's the same weapon. If you want the bar in this little room, you have to spend a total of 3,250 points because you also have to buy the door for 750 points. There's no reason to open up this door because the room doesn't provide any valuable training space and there's another bar wall buy on your way to power. Now coming in at my number two spot is that there's not that much to do in this map. I know I I said the same thing about knocked but Verrucked does have the same issue. I know it's kind of unfair because these were the first ever maps to exist for Call of Duty Zombies, but that's what happens when your game mode evolves over time. The reason why I see it as a problem is because it can be the main deciding factor on whether or not I want to play these maps. I will say that I'd rather play Verrucked over Noct because Verrucked has more to it. Now coming in at my number one spot is that once you get to round five, there are 24 zombies per round from that point on. Like I said in my video about Noct, they didn't change this until World at War Doris. The reason why it is a problem is because it makes getting to high rounds way easier. I will admit that for Noct and Verrucked, it does make sense because these maps have a bunch of tight spaces and it is really hard to play in them. But if this were to exist for some of the later maps, it would be a big issue. It does become more of an issue on Verrucked than on Noct because Verrucked offers perks and the electric traps. The perks help you survive and if you get really good with the electric traps it can make going for high rounds way easier. The reason why is because the electric traps do infinite damage so on any round they will kill the zombies. Yes the Verrux sprinters are a thing and they make surviving way more difficult on this map and the electric traps on World at War don't stay on that long but 24 zombies per round is a big deal. 